Hello and welcome to exercise number six, vector data buffer and clip. In this lesson, we will create a project, we will open layers, we'll create a buffer of 10 meters for lakes, 10 meters for streams, and we'll merge all of those buffers into a new layer, and then we'll dissolve those buffers, and then we'll clip the polygons with the dissolved buff buffers, and we'll calculate the area. Um, this will be used um, also for exercise seven. So the first thing we'll want to do is go ahead and um, open up QGIS um, 2.6. Uh, and then what we'll want to do is actually go ahead and add layers. So we'll want to add from the exercise 6 folder, we will want to add, uh, let's go ahead and add the agricultural field to the lake and the stream. And if you don't see them, what you can do is remember to go to set project from, or excuse me, set layer CRS. And then um, the 25, um, 832 if it doesn't come in and then zoom the layer um, and that's what um, this so the green is the agricultural field the uh, blue is the lakes and the black is the streams currently so the first thing we'll want to do is actually create a buffer so we'll want to go up to processing and then we'll want to go down to our toolbox and we'll add the toolbox in there so under the vector geometry tools We'll want to go ahead and um, add the the uh, the processing or the buffering, and I think that those are in the search field type buffer. And then what we can do is we'll have uh, shapes tools, and then what we can do is just um, do the fixed distance buffer under vector geometry tools. So just double click on that and this dialog box should pop up and what we'll want to do is we'll want to um, choose lake for our buffer and we'll want to buffer at um, uh, let's see what the buffer would be 10 and then the segments 5 and then we want to dissolve the results. So select yes there and then what we can with with QGIS, you can save it temporarily into the memory, into your RAM, or you can actually save it as a shape file. So what we'll do is we'll save it in our exercise. Um, uh, we can save it in a temp, we can save it to file, or we can save it to memory. And this is um, executed by just clicking on the three dots. So we'll save it to a file. And let's go ahead and just find um, the C drive. And then what we'll do is we'll look for our QGIS our um, our pro project folder. We'll go to exercise six, and then we'll rename it to um, Lake Buffer. And everything else should be the same. This is just creates a log, and then there's a little help dialog too. Um, so then you should be able just to be able to click Run. and there is the buffer. So the next thing that we'll want to do is go ahead and um, we'll merge some shapes. So the first thing we need to do is go to, um, you should be able just to type in merge up here. So merge shapes layers and this dialog should pop up. So for the um, main layer, what you want to do is take the lake buffer, or in this case, I must have named it buffer. So just take that, and then what you want to do is on the dot, 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 click on, oh, we didn't do stream, my bad. So then what we'll want to do is we'll want to actually go ahead and do another buffer on the streams too as well. Same thing. So, um, 10 feet, and then we'll just save, and we'll save this as stream buffer. Put an underscore in it. Um, the instructions don't have that, but make sure to do that. And then, yeah, so then we've got two buffers here. So what we'll do is we'll just rename it. Um, for some reason it's just putting buffer, but what we'll do is we'll just rename it to stream buffer and then we'll rename this to lake buffer. 
and then we have the stream and the light buffers. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do a merge like we started. And we'll just click, or, so you type merge and then the processing toolbox. And then um, under the vector general tool, select merge vector layers. For the um, input layer, we'll, we'll put, um, oops, sorry, it's merge shape layers under shape tools. So this is the main layer, we'll actually go ahead and we will find the lake buffer. And then what we'll do for the um, other one, we'll, we'll do the stream buffer. And then we'll merge those into a temporary file. So you can just leave the default on that. And then that should have the output of the merge layer right here. I'm just going to kind of change it because we've got a lot of greens going on right now. So those are the merge. So that's actually the merged, um, the the buffered streams and the buffered lakes merged together in the one. So what we'll want to do now is we'll want to open up the attribute table for the merge layer. And click on processing toolbox. So then we'll click on the processing. We'll go down to the toolbox, which we've already got open. And then in the search fields, we'll type in the dissolve. And we will want to find under the vector geometry tools, double click on the dissolve, to open up the dissolve dialog box. And then what we'll want to do here is we want, we'll, we'll want to f um, dissolve the um, merged layer. Dissolve all, okay. Dissolve all, so it's not going to use the field. And then what we'll do here is we'll just um, then we'll click run. This will probably take a minute. Okay, all of the um, layers have been dissolved. So the next thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to remove all of the layers except for the dissolve and the agricultural too. So actually you can multi. Oops. And it should look like this. So the next thing we'll want to do is, well, let's clip. So. Uh, we'll want to go back into our toolbox and we'll want to type in the word clip. And we'll want to use under the vector overlay tools, we'll want to use the clip. So then we'll want to use the agricultural field too. And we'll want to do the clip layer as our dissolved. And we'll just want to op output that as a temp in the temporary so it doesn't actually save that and just hit yes on the same CRS. And there is the clipped. So those are just the clipped areas where the streams and the buffers are, um, where there's an overlap. So the next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to calculate some area. So what you'll need to do is open up the attribute table for zone dot shape. Okay, so oh, name the new file zone dot shape. So we'll have to um, right click the so. 
you can do this several ways. Right click on here and go to Save As. And we'll change this um, to Zone dot shape and we'll leave the everything else the same so it's in UTM zone 32 and then hit OK and it just takes a second and you'll notice there's a dialog box up here okay right click on the layer save as okay open the attribute table for zone and then what you'll want to do here is select the field calculator which we've done this before in one of the other exercises And then what we'll want to do is we want to create a new field. Oops. Create a new field here. And we'll want to go zone hecta acres. Zone area. And then what we'll want to do is use a decimal number here. And then precision of two. And then what we'll want to do here is the same thing that we did before with um, geometry area double click on area, divide that by 10,000. That gives you your hecta acres and then you should just be able to hit and then there's all your hecta acres right there. That concludes exercise 6. If you have any questions just let me know. Thanks.